Good morning, students and staff. It's Wednesday, the 14th of September, and time for the WBDQ Top Dog News. Coming to you from the Media Center. Have, Have you stopped, stopped your work to listen? listen? Reporting today, for today are Abby and Aria. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's time for our school announcements. Are you listening? When I say purple, you say gold. Purple. Gold. Purple. Gold. Who's celebrating a birthday today? No one. Aww. Aww. One, two, three. Happy, Happy no birthday. birthday. Do we have any guests today? Yes, please welcome Miss Harley. All right. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing? Hey, hey. So I've got uh, a couple announcements for you. The first one is about testing going on today. Our third graders are so, they're so excited to have testing today. Yay. Yeah, Miss Harley actually loves testing, so I get excited. So yeah, there's testing in the third grade pod today. Also, all over the media center, they'll be testing. I'll be helping testing. So everybody needs to be nice and quiet. Nice and quiet in the hallways, okay? Like That'd be sir. great. And I'm sure there'll be some kind of announcement when we're done testing. So quiet while we're testing. Thank you for that. Also, I told y'all I wanted to share more books with you when I got a chance. So I brought a couple things with me. One is actually an entire basket full of books. And these are a little heavy. These are all those Who Would Win books. And some of y'all saw these last year. We've gotten more again this year. These, they look really cool. They look like books that are like, oh, they're like an ultimate, o ultimate ocean rumble. Like there are two animals that are going to fight. But it's actually a great nonfiction book that's going to give you information about two different animals and how they're different, how they're alike. Ugh. Tarantulas and scorpions, how are they alike? How are they different? What do they do for defense or camouflage? And so they're really interesting books. They are all, they really are nonfiction. They're going to teach you something about these animals. And I put them in this basket because we have so many of them and y'all ask about them a lot. I got another basket full of books and these are the grossest books in the whole room. Y'all, are, these are really gross. They're absolutely horrible. I don't know why I ordered so many. They're the worst books in here. This is an entire basket of spider books. Blah, blah, spiders. Ugly, yucky. <laughs> Gross. No, thank you. <laughs> Definitely no, thank you. Look at y'all. Look at all these spider books. I don't know why kids love reading about spiders, but they do love reading about it spiders. They creep me out. They creep me out to me too. Yeah. I um, accidentally looked in one earlier. I won't do that again. So yeah, I've got lots of these great spider books because y'all always want spider books. So I ordered you spider books. So just wanted to point out more of the nonfiction. I also have a lot of new shark books. Sharks are so popular. And so I've got, um, working on getting another basket for them because our one basket of sharp books is already kind of full. So yeah, I just want to point out some great nonfiction for you to look at when you come in. I'm reorganizing that section right now. So enjoy all these new books. I am loving all of them, except for the spider books. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for watching and remember, remember the three Bs. Be respectful. Be responsible. And be safe. Make it a great BDQ day. We'll see y'all tomorrow on the Top Dog News.